since they started bringing us great holiday specials like we're off the red nose reindeer and the little drummer boy frosty the snowman and santa claus has come to town and then following up with many others including the year without santa claus rankin base has made many great popular specials but there are some that i feel are a little underrated one of them is the first christmas the story of the first christmas snow which is celebrating its 45th anniversary today Ho, 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 this is Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Ho, ho, ho. So, greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around, I bring to you a review of the 1975 Christmas stop-motion animated television special, The First Christmas, the story of the first Christmas snow. This is probably one of the main rarely remembered and, in my book, underrated Christmas specials delivered to us by the folks at Rankin Base. The special originally premiered on NBC in 1975 on this day, December 19th. It was narrated by Angela Lansbury, who this was still before she even became big on TV's Murders, she wrote. She does the voice of a nun named Sister Teresa. It also features the voice of Cyril Richard, who I'm afraid I'm not too familiar with that actor. But anyway, he plays Father Thomas. Anyway, now... The story involves a young shepherd boy named Lucas. Well, he's trying to take care of his flock of sheep because he's an orphan. But soon, things take a turn for the worse when he is blinded by lightning. And so Sister Teresa, along with a couple of other nuns, and nearby Abby take him to the stable. Well, Teresa describes snow to Lucas was never seen it and soon while they managed to try and take care of him much to father thomas's disapproval unfortunately but well it'll change later on but i won't give too much of the story if you've not seen it now soon there would be a a christmas pageant coming up well a lot of the kids were talk well talking about Lucas because he was blind and all, except for this one girl named Louisa, who he well forms a, a good friendship with. Which that's one of my one of the good things I liked about this special, Lucas making a friend. And well, he kind of would like to. Well, there's wish would be to have a white Christmas. Of course, the film contains a performance of White Christmas. Since, well, we hear Angel Lansbury as Sister Teresa sing it. Even after we hear Lucas sing a bit of it. But anyway. Anyway, the Christmas pageant scene was really good, but I'm gonna hand myself, but Three mischievous boys, um, well, in a way, well, released Lucas's sheep and what have you, and they managed to get him back, but, well, I'll let you see that for yourself. I'm not going to give more than this, but later on, the Christmas pageant scene is absolutely really good, as Lucas, along with Louisa and a few others, get to play angels. Which, that was really good. And the Christmas snow that falls during it works a small miracle. And why is that? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to watch it if you've seen it, okay? That I'm not going to spoil and what have you. So, I'm not talking about that. But it will be a wonderful Christmas miracle. So anyway, I really did like this. I rarely get to see this. Um, I might get to see it once or twice a year. I caught this on ABC Family and when it was also Fox Family. And, well, 
just um didn't get to watch it much more when it was when it's current was currently free form as they've sent down a few other specials that was formerly shown on that network to the AMC channels where I've now caught once or twice a year. I think this is a special that I feel like is amazing. Don't get me wrong, it's not as amazing as Rudolph or Frosty or Santa Claus is come to town or heck even the year without a Santa Claus. But I think the special is just very good. I mean, I liked the 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 music in this the songs and what have you. I just think it's just really good. And um, the music done by Mari Laws, who also does music on lots of other ranking based specials, did a real good job too. Anyway, well, well, in later years, the, sh the special later aired on CBS. I wasn't aware of that because that network originally aired, well, later aired Rudolph, which was formerly an NBC special, as well as Frosty a Snowman, which aired, which had aired on the network since its debut, as well as Twas the Night Before Christmas, another ranking based special, which came out the following year, I think. That may be wrong, though. Anyway, yeah, for the last couple of the uh, the last couple of years, the AMC network has taken over the broadcast rights for this. It has been released on video cassette before, in once in '87 and then again in 1990. But it was for a long time, but for a long time, we never got to see it on physical media again until 2012, when the special got released on DVD for the first time ever. And then later on, it was repackaged along with three other Rankin Bay specials in the four kids' favorites, Mary Masterpieces box set. But anyway, like I said, I loved the first Christmas, the story of the first Christmas snow. I think it's one of my, it's absolutely, um, I don't want to tell you, amazing. Don't mean to sound like a broken record, but... I think the characters are really good. I mean, I like Sister Teresa and Lucas and Louisa. Yeah, those were my favorite characters in this. But anyway, this is a special. I'd say give it a try if you've not seen it. This, but this is a one I would highly recommend. So give it a shot at this point, okay? Anyway, that's all I'm going to tell you. This is one I would recommend. So, what are your thoughts on the first Christmas, the story of the first Christmas snow? Please tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button below, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of another underrated Christmas special, A Snow White Christmas, which is also celebrating the anniversary today. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this, see these other Rankin Bay special reviews I've recently done this year. In the upper left hand corner is my review of The Year Without Santa Claus, which has done very well. The upper right hand corner is my review of The Little Drummer Boy. And the bottom left hand corner is my review of Cricket on the Hearth. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.